Don Shane here now talking about a, a sad story today. I mean, really a legend of the Red Wings gone too soon. Oh, a guy who was so popular here in town and had so many demons that he dealt with and took care of, yet still came out of it so incredibly popular with the fans. Here's what we have learned about the death of Bob Prober today. He had a 90% blockage on the left side of his heart, and it led to a massive heart attack yesterday. Now, I spoke with Joey Koster today. Joey had a very special bond with Proby, and here is why. One thing I think we realized early on that we weren't fighting for a job between us to stay on the Red Wings. We were, we were brothers and, and partners on the ice, and and the coaching staff and management and everyone knew that also or expected that. And everything we did on that ice was was for the Red Wings, for the team, for each other. We we knew when we laced the skates up uh, before a game that we had not only each other's backs, but we had the entire uh, other 18 players that we were going to be out there and, and look after, and we, we enjoyed it, we loved it, and he was, he was the best at it. Yes, he was, and in part loved by Wings fans because of his tough guy antics and because he had some very human public battles with some off-ice demons. Proby became a sympathetic figure, but he battled through all that. And that made him even more popular. Probert clearly had a special bond with Joey, who was dealing with the pain of losing a good friend so early in his life. Yeah, it's it's too young. Like I said, he was. I felt he was in the best shape of his life, and and he'd gotten through all the all the things in his life, and he was he was he was going forward and great great with the kids, great with the family, and. And yes, it's it's sad because he did have some tough times and went through a lot of a lot of hardships and to see that it was all cleaned up and he was moving the right way and, and he was just a perfect role model again, it, it's very disappointing.